In Israel, Jewish people yesterday began their preparations for Passover. In Jerusalem, the ultra-Orthodox washed dishes in boiling water and purchased food for the holiday. And perhaps have begun here locally as well. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian introduces us to a group of Long Island women who bond over their unique traditions passed down from relatives. That's the pot that the fish will get made in. That's the pot that the soup gets made in. The Passover pot is out, which means... I pretty much don't leave the kitchen between now and Wednesday morning. And her Great Neck Kitchen is just where we met with Marjorie Hoffman and friends Debbie Volk and Jordana Levine, who call themselves the gefilte gals. Like the traditional gefilte fish they each make at home for Passover, following old recipes they sometimes may need help with. Last year I called her because I, my grandmother wasn't here and I said, I don't know, I had a question, I don't remember what the question was. And then that's how this group kind of came together because she said, oh, you should also ask Judy and then ask Marjorie. The best way to describe gefilte fish is a meatball made of ground fish fillets, usually white fish, carp, and pike. With a lot of sugar added, a couple of eggs, a little matzo meal, some salt, and pepper. And that's pretty much it. It's, 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 so it's mine's sweet. They can also be savory, whether it's from their mom, aunt, or grandma. Their family recipes have been passed down for generations, sometimes retold over the phone. So how much sugar do I add, grandma? Put in a spoon. Okay, but how much of a spoon? You know, like that big spoon that you have in the drawer. Just put that in. You can also just buy gefilte fish in a jar or a can. Um, and if there's anything that these ladies can agree on, I mean, which one is better? Oh, homemade? No. Homemade. homemade? Homemade. No comparison. It's a Passover tradition they plan to keep on passing down. My kids happen to love gefilte fish, um, but they don't necessarily love the smell. At some point, I will pass down the tradition to them. The ladies will start making their gefilte fish this weekend. In Great Neck, Christy Kalina. In, CBS 2 News. They're like, no, we don't do it. Homemade is cans. always better. No cans, no bottles. <laughs> None of that.